has a lengthy criminal history for petty crimes, and community members say Asamad Nash, charged with stabbing to death a woman in Chinatown, should have never been on the streets. The brutal and bloody murder of Christina Lee now pulling into question bail reform laws and the lack of treatment for the mentally ill. And Jay Burkett is live in Chinatown with more. And Jay. That's right, Sade, outside the victim's apartment building here on Christie Street in Chinatown, the scene of that horrific murder this past weekend. And yes, we are learning a lot more about the suspect's criminal history. Many critics, including Mayor Adams, believe he should not have been out on the street, and they're demanding changes. Christina, with you! Christina, with, with you! Grief turns to outrage on the streets of Chinatown. Neighbors, activists, and elected officials marched outside the bloody crime scene and rallied in a nearby park. We want to live in a safe community where we don't have to worry when we go out of the apartment, where we don't have to worry when we go into the subway that we're going to be subject to an attack. Christina Lee was 35 years old, an apparently random victim of a grotesque crime stabbed 40 times and found on the floor of her bathroom where she bled to death. Investigators say the killer quietly followed her into her apartment building and up six flights of stairs before pushing his way inside. When police arrested Asamad Nash, he was covered in blood. A 25-year-old homeless man with a lengthy criminal history for mostly petty subway crimes. Even before the murder, Nash had been arrested seven times in the past seven years, including an arrest in September of 2021 for punching a man in a Chinatown subway station. He was released without bail, and when he failed to appear in court, he was rearrested by the NYPD and released once again without bail. This is a crazy city now. Many critics blame the state's criminal justice system, and not just in this case. Some arguing that bail reform has gone too far. Others that the mentally ill need help. This was a heinous act. Heinous. It should not have happened to anyone. Anyone, anywhere. That's right. He should not have been on the street. Yesterday, Mayor Adams met with the Democrats in Albany who enacted bail reform, urging them to reconsider and was turned down. There was no arguing, no yelling, no screaming. Areas we disagreed on, we talked about it and we walked through them. They respected my opinion and I respected their opinion. Now the live picture here on Christie Street in Chinatown. You can see the NYPD's crime scene unit is still on the scene. They're up in the victim's apartment at this hour. Uh, the suspect was arraigned yesterday, ordered held without bail after a psychiatric examination at Bellevue Hospital. He has not been charged with a hate crime because prosecutors say that until now they have not uncovered any evidence of a hate crime. Again, at least not so far.